Hey guys, in this video I'm going to walk you through how to register a little bit larger of a project with Register360. Everything I've done so far has been on a, a small project just because it's a little bit easier to show you the tools um, with just a couple scans. So here I've got uh, a 50 or 60 scan project. I've brought it in as BLK files and I'm going to open up Register360. Create a new project. And I'm going to drop in uh, scans. All right, I'm going to import these scans. I'm going to turn off auto target. There are, there are no targets in this um, project. I am going to run auto cloud. Um, so I'm going to let register 360 try to register as much of this point cloud together as it can. Um, I'm not going to use Smart Align because I don't have a good enough map um, that I can use for this project yet. So um, once I do that, I'm going to let the import run. Importing this many scans is going to take some time, so this is something I would probably leave for a little while and then come back when it's finished. All right, so this just finished importing, and um, it's brought all the scans into space here. And what you'll see is there are a couple bundles that it was able to um, register together and there are um, a couple standalone scans that it wasn't able to piece together. So um, this uh, auto register didn't do such a great job here. I'm, I'm not really surprised because this is a lot of hallways and hallways start to look um, very much alike when you're trying to auto register, especially when you're not using targets. So you'll see that um, there are a couple bundles, um, and these bundles are, are over in the tree here, and basically all the scans are put together and they make bundles, and then it's um, you just have to piece together these bundles. So um, first thing I'm going to do here is start uh, organizing. Um, you could start at the beginning of your scans. Um, you can see in the tree here, if I, if I hover, hover over the picture, I'll get a little panor panoramic overview so I can kind of get an idea of what scan that is. Uh, I'm going to start near scan 1. If I highlight the scan in the tree, it'll, it'll highlight over in the, in the space over here. Um, if I right click and show in Cloud Viewer, I can um, jump into the scan so I can see um, which scan this is. And then if I want to get back out to the sitemap, I hover over Setup Cloud down here and I click Sitemap. Alright, so I'm going to look for scan 1 right here. And that's right here. Is here. You'll notice when I brought these close together, um, it, it doesn't create a ghost link for me. So I need to um, force the registration between these two. So what I can do is um, take this fence tool up at the top here and select both both scans. And at this point, I can um, use my visual registration tool. The next scan I need to register to this um, bundle here is, is scan 7. Um, so another tool you can use is this swap setup tool. And um, so let's say I'm starting with my, my bundle here. I'm just going to work from this bundle all the way through my project. Uh, I can bring over this, this setup, and I can see that this is not the correct setup. Um, I need setup, setup 7, and this is 9. So um, there's this um, button right here, Swap Setups. And if I'm, if I'm zoomed in far enough and I highlight the single setup, I can hit this button, and this will highlight the single setup as as a uh, red and then down here at the bottom I can toggle through all the single setups so um, I can see that this is 
this is set up seven now so if, if it didn't come up I could just toggle through all the single setups so um, if this is the right one you can hit the check mark and it'll be dropped there switched it with nine and then I can go ahead and register this in so I always have to jump into the scan to see exactly which room um, this is. This is this room. Again, you can uh, hold shift and click the scan to rotate it. To toggle between um, the, the movement tool and the rotate tool, um, you can click the hit the key next to the one on the keyboard. It's the little swoopy thing. I don't know what it's called. This maybe isn't as good as I want it to be. Um, so I can go ahead and click cancel and maybe I want to tighten this up a little bit um, if I can. And that's quite a bit better. So I can go ahead and click OK. The next setup that I'm going to look for is, is number eight. I did these um, for the most part in succession. So um, I'm going to go ahead in my tree and look for number eight. It's right here. You can see it's already part of a bundle, so I can bring this whole bundle over here. Um, rotate that around. Um, I want to register these two together first, so I can go ahead and highlight them. Alright, you can see that this link is yellow, so um, that means it doesn't have the best fit. Um, and this was an auto register link, so um, what I can do is I can, I can click on this link and I can um, see if I can make it any better. So I can um, go into the visual alignment myself. You can see it is a little off, so I'm going to see if I can tighten this up. I think that's a little bit better, so... Uh, yep, I, uh, I got it um, under the tolerance, so that looks a little bit better. And now my bundle is growing, so I can just continue to add these scans. If you ever want a little more space on your, on your screen so that you can um, do a little bit more accurate rotation, you can always get rid of the either of these two panes um, by clicking this arrow. Um, so that gives you a little more screen so when you attempt to rotate um, you can you can uh, look pretty far out to get this pretty accurate. At this point, um, for the most part, all the scans have been um, one after the other. Um, but there was a, a section of the building that wasn't um, wasn't available at the at the time, so I had to go back and do it later. So this is a little bit out of succession here. So um, 
it's not really an issue. You just uh, have to spend a little time figuring out um, which scans are where. You, you see, um, a while ago I was jumping in and out of these scans to um, figure out uh, where I went to next. This is a case where um, one scan was scanned at uh, the top of the stairs and another was um, at the bottom. So you'll see here right off the bat they're not on the same level in Z. So it's always important to check that to make sure that they're on the same, um, they're matched up on the Z axis. In this case, the specific two that I want to register together are tricky to get with a, a rectangular fence. Uh, I can also do a polygon, so I can just kind of drag around the two that I want and click back on the starting point. So now I've got just those two scans selected, and then I can go into my visual registration. So I just put in my uh, last bundle and you can see on the, the tree here, everything is in a, a single bundle. So everything is locked together. Um, I can change the visibility. I can, I can turn off my scan worlds, make it look a little cleaner. Um, I could keep the scan worlds, toggle on and off the links. I could even put um, all the, the, the scan scan names on there if I wanted to. It looks a little messy when you, unless you're a little bit more zoomed in. Um, but uh, yeah, if you want to go into the bundle cloud, you can you can view the cloud like this. Um, I'm actually going to turn off my mm -hmm. I can fly through I can also um, just check the uh, true slicer really quick. So if I'm in, in my site map, I can, if I select the bundle, I can go to true slicer. This will uh, slice the cloud. Everything will be a different color. So um, I can um, slide this location up and down. zoom in to make sure uh, all my clouds are lining up. Everything looks good to me. Um, if I wanted to take a, a picture, I could do that. Take a screenshot of, of this right here. And um, if I even want to go inside, screenshot here I could. Each, each of those images will be saved as an asset so what I can do is right click on those that image that I took and I can set that as the project thumbnail so when I go back into register 360 um, you'll see that the, the thumbnail has changed to that image instead of the Leica logo. This looks good to me so um, I'm gonna go ahead and finalize it 
Now I can choose the um, image for my sitemap, accept it, and accept the results. And at this point, I, I could create my report and then um, publish to TrueView, Jetstream, or an E57 point cloud file. I hope you were able to pick up a few tips and tricks here on how to put together a project in Register 360. If you're interested in Register 360 or you have any questions about it, please feel free to shoot me an email. I'm always happy to help out with this stuff. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you all next time.